Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, market traders have been watching the Australian dollar now for the last three days as it continues to swing in and out of losses. And from yesterday, the market did actually challenge briefly the downside but failed to take out 67.05 support, which was seen as the trigger level to initiate further falls. But the rejection after posting the low of 67.09, the market rallied to a fresh six-day high of 67.73. It is anticipated and has been for the last few days that we could see a move up in the Australian dollar due to the fact that the indicators have been somewhat bullish in terms of creating a further momentum of rallying if we see the market in the next 12 hours break above 70. This would actually see the challenge, which is near the 60-day moving average, which is at 67.98. And along with that, I do believe the bears are preparing for an ambush from 68 cents. I am looking to shorten this market from here because I do believe we are looking for another challenge to the downside. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, that my level was at 67.05. Well, that's risen now to 67.20 for a trigger to the downside. If breached, then I am looking down towards 66.70, but not to hold on the sixth challenge, but instead look towards 66 cents as an objective. So let's see if the market can take the tackle to the top side and see if it fails. But after many, many weeks, to be exact, 16 weeks is the downtrend has continued for the euro and finally broken after the market did briefly print a high of 110.33 overnight. It was assessed that as the market was declining, most of the short positions were probably covered. So therefore, you can see from the break, it wasn't significant to say that uh, the bulls got that excited. I do believe anywhere in this region here from where we are to 111 as an opportunity to shorten the market because I feel that we are looking for a further test down. Now, if we tackle this resistance, now support at 109.75 and breaks, then we are looking for the downside move because this would reinstate the target of 108.65. Not the end, looking back to the top side of the range. I don't feel there is much threat here in terms of breaking higher beyond 108.60. So I do feel that anywhere towards 108 to 108.60, a great opportunity to shorten the market as we now challenge this level currently at 108.06. So watch the bears come back because I feel this is what's going to be significant is that the rejection from here would see the move back to 106.10. Well, after bouncing off of the 122 level, or more to the fact, 121.70.80 support, the pound surged overnight after talks from the EU and UK are looking a little bit more positive to try and avoid a no deal, or more to the fact, a hard Brexit landing. It is from there that the market surged, one of the most significant moves we've seen in some time now, and crushes the level of 124. It is assessed now from the break, as long as we don't slip beneath the level of 123.65, that we are looking up towards 125.60.65. So no doubt this will put further pressure on euro sterling. And let's see if the market does rally for the pound in the next coming session. Well, we've got a posted outside range day and also we've got pressure back towards this level of 1,488. If we get a close under there in New York, then I believe the market is going to look back towards 76 or maybe down to 60.64 as a target. But the bullish divergence is just hanging in there. So we could see another rejection from 88 and therefore see a rally back towards 1,500 to 12 to 18.21. Wrapping up with oil. Well, I did highlight the fact around 50.5 to 51.5 as a potential buy zone because we can see rejections all the way through here, and especially from this uh, dragonfly, and also last night from a bullish outside range day, does support further case to the upside. Now we need confirmation to this bullish outside range day, and if we get a break above the level of $54.35, then I am looking for a rally on towards $56 as a target. So that technically we are getting firmer as the market moves higher.
Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Intraday Report. And I hope you enjoy the great start to the new day and to this wonderful weekend.